Does your Volvo XC90 stop like crap? Do you suffer from bad baby brake syndrome? Look at these baby rotors. Look at these heavy things. Single piston, what? We need at least four per corner. You wanna make your Volvo XC90 a track weapon? Four corner Brembo brakes, fade free for however many laps you wanna make. Look at this baby. See that? V8, eight of them. I've had this 2008 Volvo XC90. It's the V8 model with the Yamaha V8. It's pretty quick. I think it's 315 horsepower stock, um, but the brakes were terrible. Um, so I'm just gonna replace the braking system and go from there. Plus it's a cool kind of cheap upgrade you can do. Big brake kit for, you know, around 800 bucks after you spend like rotors and the components that go with that. One thing I will say is these are 336 millimeter rotors. They bring this up because these will fit the 330 millimeter rotors. I thought six millimeters, that's like an eighth of an inch. You know, it's, it's a quarter inch diameter, but an eighth of an inch radially. Um, I thought maybe it would fit. I'll show you some pictures, but it does not fit. Um, it actually makes contact. So I bought these really cool rotors. They're painted now, but um, it should uh, clean up this painted surface. You can see it has a, a cool groove design on it. <clears throat> these wires aren't used. These are part of the brake pads that go with these calipers. Uh, the uh, caliper's got to be disconnected to connect the brake line, otherwise you'll, you'll wind up the brake line, so this will allow it to twist. See how the, uh, when you try to loosen the, the line, it's going to bind, it doesn't have like a swivel or universal or whatever in it. So in order to take it off, I need to loosen the caliper and then turn it with it. Same thing goes with tightening it. So I just loosen the, the line a little bit, you can see it leaking already. Alright, well this is a heavy, heavy caliper, but what I'm doing to take it off. So most of this project is research. It's not all that hard to do. My research, the uh, S60R and the V70R use the same master cylinder as the XC90, so I don't think we'll have any issues. Okay, now the other one I did have to tighten once I got the caliper bolts tightened. Um, that set the line a little bit better, like the angle of the line. But I'm going to leave that there for now. Take this off. Next, I'm going to take the rotor off uh, to replace it with the smaller, slightly smaller rotors. Um, it will get pretty big rotors in the back. Basically, 330 millimeter rotors on all four corners whereas before it had smaller rotors in the back. And I do need different bolts, um, which I'll show you. It'll have uh, some spacers around the bolts. They're shorter bolts. I've already taken the wheels off. Um, got it on jack stands in all four corners. That way I can turn the wheel to help me get the caliper bolts out. Just gives you a little bit more room when you can turn the wheel. Or it's a bit smaller. Um, I checked this beforehand to make sure that the, uh, like I took these off, uh, that's where the pictures come from, but I made sure like this, the centering uh, all fits, um, the wheel fits on this, you know, so that that's, stuff isn't changing. I'm going to clip this wire because it's not needed on my my car. So that's going. Here are the stock bolts that go with that caliper. These are 14 millimeter bolts. And then these are uh, 12 millimeter bolts. They are sli slightly smaller. So the, these are through holes right here. And the tapped holes are actually in the in the caliper. So I have these little spacers. These are one millimeter spacers I'm gonna put in here. So they fit pretty tight. Um, that'll allow it, you know, to keep from rocking around. So I got some narrow spacers and some wide spacers. So I mixed a little one with a small one. Grade 10 fasteners.
probably pop the hood and make sure um, I have enough fluid in there. So you'll see air come out of them, and this is like without, without bleeding them. Air come out of them, and then, uh, well, you don't see the air come out of them, but you'll see uh, fluid start coming out. I let these gravity bleed, so I might check them again later. All right, so I got 20 millimeter spacers. I need to space out the wheels because the, the Brembo's are uh, big calipers. Ooh, they look close. Yeah, I'd say they're a bit over 20 millimeters, maybe, maybe not. Is that the correct thread? Yeah, those look good. I'm gonna come back over this with a torque wrench. Um, I try not to impact my lugs. The back conversion is gonna be a little bit more difficult because the rotors are larger and it has a um, like a dust shield on the back of it that I'm either gonna to have to trim that kind of cups over the rotor. And I'm on the, the rear corner. So the rear caliper bolt is a 13 millimeter. Seems so small. These are used calipers. Um, I inspected the seals and installed new pads. Fit on like that, but as you can see, I need to make clearance with the um, dust shield. Right now, this part of the dust shield is in the way, so. I'm gonna see if I can cut it out. And then, as you can also see, this this curves around the rotor. So I'm gonna see if I can straighten it also. Actually, it might be easier to do with this rotor on, because I can kind of follow and use this as a guide, the rotor as a guide. So I'm gonna try doing that. All right, so I'm gonna use this air reciprocating saw and try to use the rotor as a guide to cut this. Um, I do need to be careful down down here because um, this is where like the control arm is. can buy the dust shields. I also want to show you, so these are the stock XC90 brakes. Um, they're quite a bit smaller if I line up the bottom half. The emergency brake rides in here, um, all that's the same. So your e-brake should all work. Check in the back for clearance issues. All right, now before I put the, uh, the caliper bolts in, I don't know if you can see, but they're pretty crusty. Um, so I have, it's an M10 by one and a half die. So I'm going to clean up the threads a bit. It should uh, make it go in the caliper easy and, you know, not damage the, the caliper. Okay, here's the, the before and after. So that, that's why we do it, clean it up nice. 
Okay, about done with the back brakes. Um, for the brake bleeding, I did have to um, grab a second person to pump the brakes as I uh, let the um, air out, broke the bleeder valves. So that's not on video. All right, I'm test driving the, the XC90 after I installed the Brembo uh, brakes. I'd say there's less initial bite, but this is still, you know, I only have two miles on the brakes, so the, the front brakes came painted. I gotta wear that off. They're brand new pads. So. One thing I did notice, so the rear calipers are a little further away, like further towards the rotor. So the rear brake lines seem to be like tight when the car's up in the air. So I may look for longer brake lines just to give it a little bit more, more slack. The other thing I don't necessarily like is uh, I think my wheel spacers, the outside diameter of the wheel spacers is smaller than you know the contact area between the rotor and the wheel. I think I am getting a little bit better feeling as I go. I'm on the highway doing 65 right now. I think I'll uh, go to the gas station, inspect how everything looks, make sure I don't see any leaks or uh, anything obvious. All right, so I stopped to check in. Uh, this is the wear pattern. You can see the, the dark marks and the light marks. Um, that just means it's not, the pad's not fully engaged yet. As the brake pad's bed in, um, I think my brake feel will get better as, as well, so. Here's the front brakes. I got that cool uh, groove pattern in it. The wheel spacers give it a little bit cooler stance, I think. You can see the, the wheels are are more in line with the outside of the of the vehicle. I like that. Look at those. Look at those. Woo! -wee! Woo! -wee! 